hello guys let's understand today in order uh, binary tree traversal okay so if you understand uh, if you already understand the binary tree traversal but uh, i will tell you uh, please stay and watch full videos because it's really important to understand the traversal uh, in the tree and a lot of questions you will do in the interview right so what is in order traversal right so in order traversal it's already say says that in order means if we have a root and we have left children and the right children right means i'm saying if this is a root node then you have another left node and then another node you have right node right so if the traversal is look like first we will move to the leftmost then its root right and then its left node right like this if we will move means this is your in order traversal if the root come first then it's pre order right or if it is uh, if the uh, root is comes in the last means it's a post order right so so this is in the middle so it is in order traversal right so for example you can see here first once comes right so once do, do not have left children right because this is null here right in the in this case so we will not consider this we'll start from one right so you can say we have one then it's given null right so in the output you can say we are starting from one then uh, what will happen we'll move to here but the leftmost is what three so we'll write three right and then we'll check its uh, uh, root value so root value is true but we don't have right so we'll uh, not consider this one okay because it's null so this is called binary tree but we have to understand how to traverse right so let's understand logically right how to uh, do so uh, for me let's understand uh, you have this root right what you have you have root then you have left let's suppose this is l1 and then this is we can say r1 right so your first row and this is this is the uh, you can say nodes right we have so after this uh, what how we are going to uh, implement this any function uh, based on the functionality right so what we can do we can first traverse to this this one right first we will come to here right and we'll check its root if the root is not null right means if the root node is not null then we will process right 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 we can do or if there is a trick right let's suppose uh, i'll take one stack okay what we'll do we'll take and stack and we'll first we will put what root what we'll put root then we'll put uh, left like l1 and then we'll put uh, sorry we can say uh, l1 yeah and then we'll put what uh, uh, so in, the, in, in this this will come about uh, sorry uh, you can say r1 and then we'll put l1 right like this if we'll put okay am i correct uh, this will go to right root so l1 come first then we should have root no uh, what we will put we will put the root right first then the left node right like this will do okay then if we will have the uh, what we can say R1 then we'll put so we have to treat as a R as a uh, you can say root okay next time let's how let's understand first so what I'm trying to uh, implement here so you have to understand how how I'm tra trying to do so this is your root right and if it has another uh, you can say node L2 and this has a another node R2 right like this okay and then we will move to here l4 right this is your node and this is your uh, another node r3 let's suppose this is your r3 okay like this we have so first of all uh, give me one second huh. so first of all our current is at what here so we have put onto the stack right we have already put on the stack now what we will do let's suppose we are not having anything here so 
current uh, is at root now we have to go to the left most right so now the current should come here right then we have to check another one so here like this right so like this we have to traverse so if you will uh, you are at root then you are coming to l1 then you are coming to l2 like this you are coming let's suppose right so how what a stack you will maintain so i'm uh, crossing this one let's suppose you have new new stack so first you have enter root right then you have entered what uh, l1 then you have entered l2 like this right so let's suppose currently what we have l2 have so first what we will do we will remove from here right and and then we will traverse right so we are at here once we will reach here means its children is null right means this is your uh, left most uh, left tree right or node at that time what we will do we will push from uh, you can say uh, pop from the uh, stack this is your stack will pop from the stack and will put somewhere so how we will put there let's suppose you have current node okay so we will take current node and will point it out as what because we have got from what a stack dot pop we will do right so if you do current node will get from what stack right so you know that current dot val right current dot val right is nothing but what its value right so we will put on we will put on some list value right now this is treat this will we will treat as a left children right because this is your left now we will move to the what its root value right obviously will come here because see this left is nothing but null and this is also null right so we have treated this value and we have added this value now we'll move to the l l2 now current will move to here to here right and uh, before going to l2 right what we have to do we have to come to r2 also right because uh, we have l1 we already have and uh, this value will also we have right so next value what we will do we will add l2 on on the on the you can say list and then we will move to r2 okay like that we will move till here okay so once this is complete you have to add this value right and then we have to come to here means you have to move current from when we are coming from here to here right like this left most your current is current equal to current dot left but one, once you reached here if you want to jump here what you have to say current equal to current dot left right 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 then we will move like this so let's understand uh, the dfs approach and the uh, recursive you can say recursive approach right so in the recursive approach what will happen we have re res right we will put uh, we will take a recursive function in which we will pass root or result and finally we will return the results so tree node will contain root and we have a list of uh, uh, integer right and uh, if root not null then what we will do dfs root dot left uh, will do comma res right and uh, if uh, having the value we'll put on the rds and then we'll move to its uh, left children but it's very easy dfs is very easy but if we'll talk about the stack that uh, we are in like, see in dfs we uh yeah because this is because that is all automatic handles uh, you can say stack but if you're using iterative method using stack that what you have to do first of all we will move to the res then we'll move to the then we'll create a stack and then what we will do we'll have a current node at root we will start current node from the root and we'll say a condition current not null a stack not null then what we will do we will find our leftmost tree what we will do we will find leftmost tree so leftmost tree means first its root then it, it will become from what left one then left one then left one like this will reach once the this value ha is null means here it is null right so we will treat the current will stay here right and all these nodes we will put on the stack that we are talking about right so first we will add root right then l1 then l2 then l3 like that 
will put so this is you can say uh, left most left most we will find and we'll put on the stack once you are at here right means this is the last one left most we have already find then we'll pop from the stack the last we have entered let's suppose l4 so we'll get from the we will treat as a current and its value we will add on to the res right and then we will move to the current dot current equal to current dot right means we will move to its uh, right children right so if it doesn't have right children here let's suppose this is your current node and its children is null right so we, we have not uh, considered this as a uh, current but we have considered this one as an array current so once you have added this one right we will check its uh, right children if right children is there we will move here otherwise will current will move here as you can see right so uh, because stack we are removed from the stack and that is your current so like that we will maintain this one and it will store the res here each time and then you have your current right so that's all i have in this video guys if you really want to understand the stack uh, uh, you can say uh, the best approach right so for the last two approach that i have talked about recursive and uh, iterative method so in this you will get o of n, n o of n and o of n in a space complexity and time complexity both but if you really want to uh, uh, optimize your uh, time co space complexity so you can use modis traversal right so in the modis traversal what will happen you have to uh, start from the root right and there will be a pre uh, node we have to define right so what will happen first of all we uh, from the tree right we will check if the current is not null means current is null sorry current is null then what we will do we will add uh, the current value on on the res and will move to the right node right like this and if it has a left sub children then we will uh, say pre equal to current dot left and then we'll move to the right most right so to go to the right most what we have to do pre dot right not null and then we move to that at that time once you find the right most tree so pre dot right we will store the current so current we have what root root node right we'll store and then we'll say uh, we'll we'll save the value so tree node uh, we contain the temp and we'll say current and current is equal to current dot left we will do and temp dot left equal to left means let's suppose uh, you can say you have some tree right like this okay you have some tree like this and there is also some values are there okay so what we will do this is your current and this is your rightmost right so this node and this node we will swap this one and will once this is stored so this we will store here in this children like so we'll discuss about more about this okay so if you really like this video of the inner traversal let me know we'll go in the deep in the modis traversal thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you really like this video please hit subscribe this channel so we'll uh, come up with more videos thank you